it's been a very exciting time for us overall. Firstly, uh, growth has been good. We've uh, continued to grow at two to two and a half times the run rate uh, quite steadily. Uh, we did have a little bit of a hiccup in January with COVID wave three, but I think uh, it seems like a long time ago now, and I hope it stays that way. And uh, both the online side as well as the retail side are doing quite well. And since we just finished uh, raising a round, I think we're all raring to go for what's to come in the uh, subsequent few quarters. See, the growth opportunities are there along multiple dimensions. Uh, there is a category dimension where we are uh, deepening our presence, or widening our presence uh, away from or in addition to our uh, core skincare uh, expertise that we have. So there's hair care that's growing, there's color cosmetics that's growing, there's body loving that's doing quite well, and there's Phi that's going to see a very new look and feel very soon. Uh, so on the category front and brand front, there's a lot of action. Similarly, on the channel front, with respect to retail especially, there's a lot of action going on. Uh, our EBOs, we now have four up and running, fifth one should be up in a day or two. Uh, hopefully get into double digits uh, within a quarter or two. I think, therefore, across brand building, across category development, across channel expansion, uh, there's lots to do and hopefully we'll be able to deploy this capital productively uh, in these pursuits. It's very interesting the way that uh, side of the business is shaping up. Right now, of course, its contribution to overall business is low, but uh, what it does give us is uh, excellent brand representation uh, the right representation of the brand in front of uh, our core target consumers who are in these uh, high traffic retail locations. Uh, every one of our stores has broken even in the very first month of operation. And uh, that gives us the confidence to go ahead and, you know, look at expanding geographically and also deepening the presence in the markets that we already are present in. So right now it's just Mumbai, Chennai and one store in Trivandrum that just opened a couple of days ago. Uh, Bangalore should be opening up this week or next week. So there's, uh, you know, lots more in the pipeline. And uh, overall, I think the brand has great ac acceptance at the retail level. And here is in the store is where you will see the brand and its sort of widest glory across all the product segments we are present in, across all the categories we are present in. So uh, we are very excited about uh, this rollout. Having said that, uh, that's not going to be the sort of centerpiece of expansion. Uh, it's a highly visible part of the expansion, but the retail, the core, it is shop in shop, the multi-brand retail, unassisted and assisted forms of retail and online and D2C, they will continue to be the primary growth drivers and volume drivers uh, for, the, for the short term. You know, as we've always said, uh, the first and foremost, the, the market is not a winner-take-all market. It is, a, it is a broader market from the consumer point of view. So no customer says, I'm going to be sticking to just one brand for all my personal care needs. Uh, she uh, or he is clearly, uh, let's say, living with a cohort of brands at any point in time uh, and actually doing so quite, you know, uh, quite merrily, I would say. Uh, for us, the task is therefore to be part of these sort of moments uh, in consumers' lives in the, in the adoption of this category that, um, you know, and, and have more and more of these moments with the consumer in, in the adoption of this category. And for us, therefore, how we get to that point is really through product excellence, consistency, uh, understanding what consumers really want. Um, and because that's changing quite rapidly. Uh, it, it's no longer the case that a one-year-old consumer study or a two-year-old consumer study can be used to, you know, develop a marketing strategy. So over and, over and above everything, I think it's the understanding of the evolving consumer needs that we think will keep us ahead, that is keeping us ahead, uh, despite a very cluttered uh, market. So influencer marketing has been part of our arsenal, I think ever since it began. So I think about six or seven years now. Um, but social commerce is relatively new. Uh, we are making sure that we are present there, but at the moment its contribution to overall business is low. Uh, having said so, beauty as a category needs a lot of People look forward to a lot of understanding, a lot of curiosity is there about the category, a lot of questions are there. So it's not a you know show and add by a product kind of a purchase journey. It is a far more interesting journey compared to that. So I think all these, let's say, channels, there is a, the line between a channel and a medium of communication has started blurring. And that's where I think social commerce and even affiliate marketing comes in. Um, and we are, we, we are making sure that we are present at these points of 
कंटेंट कंजम्पशन